Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a first impressions video on this foundation right here. This is the new NYX Total Control Drop Foundation and as you can see it is in a drop form. So it is very liquidy and it is very pigmented so you don't need a lot to cover your entire face and still get a full coverage result. Uh, it says on the bottle that if you want a light coverage you use two drops and if you want a medium coverage you use three and if you want a full cover coverage you use four. So I'm going to go for a full coverage look today so I'm going to go ahead and use four or more maybe. And it says simply adjust the number of drops you use until the desired level of coverage is achieved. More drops, more coverage. So. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do a full coverage look with this and I'm also gonna use the new uh, NYX foundation brush that came out too and as you can see it's curved so it kind of like goes along with the natural curves of your face it's not like as you can see this one is just like cut straight off while this one is curved <laughs> I'm really excited to try this foundation out because we got this when we were in LA and I have been saving myself to try this till I can like sit down and do a first impression on it and I got it like almost two weeks ago so I have been saving myself for a long time and I'm so excited to try this out and I have been dying to do this video so I'm really excited. So when we were at IMATS, um, Jordan Liberty was there and he was going to show, show how to use this foundation, how to apply it and stuff like that and I was so looking forward to seeing that but right when we, he started I got really sick so I had to step outside and when I got back he was done so oh well um, I think I think there might be like a video uh, of him like talking about this foundation on Facebook or something so I might go check it out. Um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and try this foundation now. I'm gonna stop talking. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this brush and I'm gonna go ahead and apply a few drops on my brush. Two, three, four. I'm gonna start with four. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on my cheek first. This was actually not that easy. I really don't like using brushes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do like drops on my face instead because that I think would be easier. And I didn't use primer today, so we're gonna put this foundation to the test to see if it works, how it works without primer as well. Okay, so now I'm finished applying the foundation and actually I really like the way it looks on my skin and I also really love how it feels. It doesn't feel heavy or anything, it just feels really light and uh, it barely feels like I have anything on on my face so I really like the feeling and uh, it feels really good it is definitely full coverage if you want it to be and also it's um, matte if you want that so yeah I really like this so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back Ta-da! I'm done with the rest of my makeup now and it looks like that and I actually just really like the way that the other products that I applied smoothly kind of just like work together with the foundation. So now it's been like 30 minutes since I applied the foundation and I think it looks pretty good still. Uh, yeah, I actually really like it. But I am a little bit dry here, here, and here, but that has nothing to do with the foundation. It's just the time of year and I get really dry. Uh, but the rest of my face looks pretty good actually. It, I don't have any dry patches any, anywhere else and yeah, I actually really like the way it works on my skin. Uh, and I was, I was a little bit worried because I know a lot of these kind of foundations, they work better on oily skin. So um, I was kind of scared, but it turned out pretty good, um, I think. What do you think? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and keep this foundation on for 8 hours. That is like the most normal, like, lasting time for a foundation. So I thought I would just wait 8 hours and then I'll come back and tell you guys what I think, if it still looks nice and if it has, like, stayed on the entire 8 hours. 
So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and do something else and then I'll come back in eight hours. So now I am back and I have had this foundation on for eight hours now and it looks pretty good still. I actually really like it. I think it looks, it looks like nothing has happened to it, but like it has faded a little bit here and a little bit like on my nose and a little bit on my chin. But other than that, I think it's a really good foundation, especially since it's drugstore and not as expensive. Uh, so yeah, I think it's a pretty good foundation. Uh, and I think my eyeshadow has faded more than the than the foundation because I had like really shimmery eyeshadow on, but now there's like nothing. So I know that my eyeshadow doesn't last for eight hours and neither did the lipstick. The first one that I had on was Anastasia Beverly Hills Ashton, I think that one's called, but I couldn't find it so I had to apply another one. So now I apply the ColourPop Ziggy and the matte lippy stick and I actually really like this color. I think it's really cool and it's actually really comfortable too. So yeah, that's uh, what I think of this foundation. I think it's a really good foundation, except that it made me a little bit dry, but uh, I would still give it a four out of five because of the coverage and because it's so lightweight and easy to blend into the skin and stuff like that. So um, yeah, um, and I think it would be a lot better for those of you who are a little bit more oily or normal skin type. Uh, so let me know what you think of this foundation if you have tried it and have uh, not dry skin. So I don't know if I told you, but the shade that I used was in 07 Natural. So that's the shade that I used. And also they came out with 24 different shades. So that's so many. Uh, and as you can see, here is the lightest one and here is the darkest one. So you can see that the shade range is just excellent. I think it's so cool that they came out with so many different shades and that everyone can like find their shade because they're, they have everything. <laughs> So yeah, that's actually it for this video. Really hope you enjoyed watching this first impressions video on the new Total Control Drop Foundation. And uh, let me know what you think of this foundation if you have tried it. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.